Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you kind of early this morning for a, a album review. And this is for Future's new album, High Off Life, that I just got done listening to. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to and let you know my thoughts on this record. So let's dive into this review. Now, this is his, I believe, eighth studio album. And what did I think of it? Well, I guess it's okay. Um, there is a lot of mumbling in this album that I did not like. And sorry, I gotta let one of these cats out of my room. Because they're getting really annoying. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, sorry about that. I just had to do that. But yeah, to talk about the album, um, sorry that I had to move around in this video, I just, uh, yeah, let's get back to what I was talking about. Yeah, Trapped in the Sun was actually probably one of my favorite songs, one of them. I think my actual favorite is Too Comfortable, uh, that one I like the trap beat. I like how Future's rapping in it, and it's not so bad. Um, Harlem Shake was, uh, uh, it was fine. It wasn't as great as I would say it is, but there are a couple bad songs on here. Mostly one single, Last Name, was probably the okay track. Compared to the other singles. Because the other singles were terrible. <laughs> they were so bad that I just shook my head in disgust. And I was like, this could do so much better. Um, but yeah, Pray for a Key. Uh, I think that's kind of a dumb title. And so is Posted with Demons. That's another stupid title. So is Trillionaire. Um, they, there are some stupid title track names. Not title track, but track names that are kind of a little silly. Uh, like High Tech Tech. And that one was pretty bad. <laughs> uh, it was just disappointing is what I should say. I gave that a 2.5 out of 5. I was like, uh, fuck this song. He's going boo. Like he did in that D4L song when I reviewed the Drake uh, mixtape for Dark Lane. Uh, can't remember what it's called now. <laughs> but I did it like almost two weeks ago. And... I already forgot the name of it. Dark Lane Demo Tapes, I think it's called. If I'm not mistaken. Just comment below and let me know if I said it right. But D4L was the worst song on that uh, mixtape of Drake's. That he released May 1st. But yeah. Um, Solitaire's was actually average. Touch the Sky was, uh, it was okay. I think my favorite one out of all these tracks is Too Comfortable. That had a catchy beat, and I liked Future's verses and how he was spitting his rhymes in the song. He was mumbling a little bit, but there were some moments where I could understand what he was singing, what he was rapping. And Life is Good is a terrible song. It changes the beat. If you notice when you get to where Future's talking, he's like, life is good. And then it goes to a beat change, and you're like, fuck this song, man. I know there's a lot of uh, criticism about Future saying, oh, he's washed out and all that. I think for this record, he did a little bit better than he did on The Wizard. Because the wizard was pretty bad. This one is... 
meh. It's listenable, but it's not something I would really buy or purchase on iTunes or whatever. Sorry, that's one of my sister's cats meowing. He meows that loud. <laughs> uh, All Bad is another song that I just couldn't get behind too much. Um, it was fine, but it just felt a little iffy, I guess you could say. Uh, Tycoon is a terrible song. I did not like how Future was singing in it. It sounded really auto-tuned and processed. Like, processed auto-tuned voice he was using. And it was so bad. 100 Shooters was doing fine when Future was rapping. But when Mick Mill came in, I was a little let down. I was like, ah, Mick Mill's kind of annoying now. Um, that's just my opinion. You don't have to agree with me on this. Or you don't have to agree with me on what I think of this album. But there are a lot of songs to offer. But there's like 21 fucking tracks on this album. Which is pretty damn long. It's like a 70 minute album. So you're in for a long album when you listen to this. <laughs> but... He does mumble in most of his songs, and that's kind of why I had to bring the rating down. Because there were some mumbling, there were some boo, and woes, and skirt skirt stuff, and all that shit. And I could not get behind most of that. But, out of 10, I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. It's meh. It's not my favorite record this year, but... I think it did meh. Meh meaning by just meh. <laughs> it's nothing I would say. If you know my rating system, if you've been watching my videos for a while, I do, at the end of the year, I do okay to meh albums of 2020 or 2020 so far. And there's been a few albums, maybe a couple, there's not really that many that are like terrible but they're listenable uh like a wall nation's new album i reviewed i gave that a 6.5 out of 10 i thought that was okay and along with this one it is listenable but it's also meh that's all i can say about it it's kind of my rating system it's a meh rating i'm giving it but comment below, let me know what you guys thought of the uh, future High Off Life album, if you've heard it. And if you like this album review, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can, support the channel. I will be coming at you this weekend, or whenever I get the chance, if... I stay home today, I'll be doing the Gretel and Hansel movie review. Uh, I plan on going to do laundry soon, so I don't know if I'm doing laundry or not, but it probably will happen, so I might have to take a little bit of a break off social media for a few hours before I hop back on and do another video. So it might take a little while till I come back for another video. Uh, it'll be, it'll definitely be later today if, if I do the Gretel and Hansel movie review. Because I gotta watch it first, and then I'm gonna upload my video for it, my review for it. And then I'll be doing the Scoob movie review this weekend, and a Reason Why episode is coming back. Because I took a week's break off because of Mother's Day last weekend. And because of Mother's Day weekend, and I didn't want to do a Reason Why episode on Mother's Day. Because I just wanted to take just a week off from doing it. Uh, but you might like the next Reason Why episode, because I got a lot to say about this 
certain artists I'm going to be talking about. But anyways, sorry for dragging this video out so long. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. But thank you for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe. Take care. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video.